Weathering for kids. Have you ever heard of the Grand Canyon? It's so beautiful. Have you ever wondered how it was formed? The process that formed the Grand Canyon is called weathering. And today, we're going to learn all about it. What is weathering? Weathering is the process of breaking down or dissolving rocks and minerals. Water, ice, acids, salts, plants, animals, and even changes in temperature can cause weathering to take place. Weathering happens all the time, all around the world. Every time it rains in a valley or a wave crashes on the coastline, weathering takes place. Even things like worms slithering underground and the roots of trees growing are causing weathering beneath the Earth's surface. There are three different types of weathering. Chemical, mechanical, and biological. Let's start with chemical weathering. Chemical weathering takes place when the minerals inside of rocks go through changes caused by chemical reactions. These changes can be caused by water, oxygen, carbon dioxide, or various acids. For example, a rock may be filled with iron. When the iron is exposed to oxygen, the rock will soften, making it easier for it to crumble into smaller pieces. An example of chemical weathering is the Carlsbad Caverns National Park in New Mexico. It hails a cave called the Big Room with an area about the same size as six football fields. Up next, we have mechanical weathering. Mechanical weathering is also known as physical weathering. It's caused by frost, ice, moving water, or even heat from the sun. Mechanical weathering breaks larger rocks into smaller pieces. The difference between this process and chemical weathering is that during mechanical weathering, the minerals inside the rocks don't go through any chemical changes. They stay the exact same as they were before. The most common type of mechanical weathering is through water when it seeps inside a rock and freezes. The frozen water expands, causing cracks in the rock, which eventually breaks the rock into smaller pieces. Mechanical weathering can also occur through heating and cooling cycles. As rocks become hot and cold, they expand and contract. Different components of the rock expand and contract at different levels, which can cause the rock to crack and break apart. The Grand Canyon is a great example of mechanical weathering. Scientists believe it was formed over millions of years as the water from the Colorado River flowed over the Earth's surface. Little by little, the water from the river wore down the rocks until it eventually created the biggest canyon in the world, stretching as far as 277 miles long. That's amazing! Finally, biological weathering. Biological weathering happens when plants, animals, and other living things cause larger rocks to be broken into smaller pieces. Worms and tree roots are two examples of biological weathering because in both cases, the weathering happens because of a living organism. Other animals that burrow, like shrews, moles, or rabbits, can cause biological weathering too. When a rabbit burrows, it often digs right into the crack of a rock. This makes the crack bigger, which sometimes even splits the rock in half. Have you ever been out walking and seen weeds growing through a crack in the sidewalk? If that crack isn't repaired, those weeds will eventually destroy the sidewalk as they continue to grow. Here is a cool example of biological weathering in nature. This tree has created a large split in this rock. Pretty cool, right? Now that we've learned some cool facts about weathering, it's time to review. True or false, 
There are three different types of weathering. True, they are chemical, mechanical, and biological. Which famous canyon was formed by the process of mechanical weathering? Did you remember it was the Grand Canyon? Awesome! What are some types of living things that can cause biological weathering? Trees, roots, worms, and even shrews, moles, and rabbits. True or false? Mechanical weathering happens when the minerals inside the rock experience a chemical change. False. It's chemical weathering. The Earth's surface and all of its amazing landforms are constantly changing through the natural process of weathering. Next time you're out in nature, try to notice all the different types of weathering we talked about today and take your knowledge out into the world. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.